And Jehoshaphat bowed his head, he bowed his face to the ground, and all of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem bowed before the Lord and they worshiped the Lord. And that's why we do talk sometimes about a response to worship, or we do open up the altar, because it, it really reveals the heart, doesn't it? Think about it, if I'm just like, John, you're really going long in that song, brother. Man, what is, why do we have so much worship? This is really boring. In and out sounds really good. Why am I acting like this? Because I'm not engaged spiritually. Over the last year, I've seen grown men, tough guys, get all excited and giddy. They get a promotion at work or a week off or they're going to the river. Man, we're going to the river. Load up that Coors Light in the boat, man. What? But then get into church. See? What's the difference? You can get emotional. You express anger real well. Is anger not an emotion? Now, when I say all this, I don't say it to like you, so you get emotional because I think emotionalism is dangerous. You can't work up a Holy Spirit pep rally, but God, God can come down on a prepared soil of the heart. But there should be an expression, even in your seat, as your, as your head bowed down and, and you think, think, even think of amazing grace, how sweet the sound. That really, and, and there's just something, the yearning, the body is just an expression of what's going on in the heart. That's why there's all different forms of worship, isn't there? You know that those people do the flags? Like, I'm not a flag person, but those are some of the most spiritual people I know. But I'm not, you won't see me with the flags. That could just be maybe embarrassment. Maybe God will show me. But also I think it can be a distraction. And so see, there's different forms. In Lancaster, Morgan, remember too, this guy's up front and he's, um, actually they came in there from a, they just got released in prison. They're halfway home. And it was so encouraging to see this altar is full of men. And this guy, I mean, he's, He's weeping profusely. And I'm kind of getting, man, you know, you get, you, all of you guys, whether you say it or not, you judge the church based on the leader. It's, let's just be honest. And, um, and so I'm like, oh, man, this guy's getting a little carried away. What are people thinking? Now I don't care as much for sure. But his friend came up to me and, and said he just found his son hung in the garage. And I began to weep. And I began to pray. I went down and prayed with him. I said, God, forgive me. God, forgive me. See how quick we judge others? Judging the person, they're a little, they're a little, God, they're a little dramatic. Well, God just delivered them from crack and she got her kids back. How dare you? But I see the light, it's the worship wars. You know, anybody, you get a little emotional, they think, oh, I don't know, man, they're a little, emo yeah, why don't you, have you ever been through hell and God saved you? Have you ever been so close to hell, your clothes still smell like smoke? Has God ever brought you out of addiction that was going to take you down? You might, you might worship a little bit different. See, there's an expression. So see, what we say is you don't have to. I'm not, uh, by nature, I'm more conservative, but there, there, should, there's, there should be some type of response when you're worshiping God. I'll let you and God work that out. It demands a response. So Jehoshaphat, there's this great army, great army. And they began worshiping the Lord. So they didn't send out SEAL Team 6. They sent out six members of the worship team. Or 15, I don't know. And now when they begin to sing and to pray, so here comes this army. This army's gonna take them out. They begin to sing and praise God. What can, what's gonna turn away God's ear from, from them? Nothing. And God said, you know what? I'll handle this. He sent ambushes against their enemies and all of the enemies were defeated. When you set your heart upon God, he will set his eyes upon you. Some of you need to hear that as more. As soon as you set your eyes upon God, he will set his eyes upon you. He will do things you never dreamed of. It doesn't mean you might have a great life and, and get through things easily and never be attacked, but you know the God who holds the very breath in the palm of his hands that you breathe. And I love John 4.23, the Father is seeking such to worship him. You experiencing God, you, you going directly to the throne room of grace often uh, is, is, is the way to go. That's really where prayers get answered because God knows the true condition of, your, of our hearts. And sometimes, Lord, I don't even know how to pray for this. Just, just the Spirit knows how to pray. God, I don't even know how to pray. I lift up, I lift up this person. I lift up my sickness. I lift up my illness. God, I'm going through this situation financially. I see no hope. I see no way around this. My job uh, is on the line. I, we, we, I don't know how we're going to get through this, but God. 